Good morning, Year 5s. Thank you for joining me to the wider curriculum video. So the English and the wider curriculum kind of are the same for the rest of this week now, uh, which means, you know, you could put a bit of time into it. And also, it's something to enjoy. It's kind of, it's kind of, this is kind of like a last showcase of what you can do, but it's not for me. It's for the new Year 5s. So something I like to do at the end of each year is get my current class to write something to my new class. Sometimes it's been a story to show the incredible standard of work you'll achieve by the end of year five and show them like their goal. Sometimes it's a leaflet of information or sometimes it's a letter of information. Um, so to, to tell them about year five. Um, so it's a chance for you to tell them that moving to year five isn't scary. You know, you've got to think for the year fours, especially this year, you know, they might not have seen me a lot. And also, they're in, they're in quite a different bit of the school, aren't they? It's all right for you guys, you're just moving across the corridor. For them, they're going, they're going into the new building, up the stairs. It's just somewhere they don't go very often. It's also a chance for you to warn them about me and, my, and, and Mrs Croft and get, get help them get to know us a little bit with some of your kind of child viewpoints. Be honest and think about what they genuinely might find useful, though. And, and this this activity will work in two ways. One, it will it will be helping them to know some things from a child's point of view, because I know it's not always great to hear it from a teacher point of view. But secondly, it's another reflection of Year Five for you guys. So I've had some memories, videos, or, or documents that have sent to me, which I was not emotionally prepared for yesterday. Um, but this is another one. It's a chance for you to kind of reflect on what was Year 5 like? What, what did it look like? What do people really need to know about Year 5? So I've, there's, I've got some bullet points here. Things that might be useful. So you can keep... The, it's quite a nice balance between here's what we'll do in Year 5 and here are things that you need to know about Mr. Cro Mr. Cooper and Mrs. Croft. So, you know, you can have things like when we, how we do our homework. It could just simply be, Mr Cooper uh, sets homework, weekly homework every week, uh, and when it's done it goes in the box, um, you know, information like that. Um, make sure, you know, attempt to do it, and the better, the more effort that's put in, the more house points you get, something like that. Spelling journals, you could explain those, and maybe tell them to try not to lose them, because we have spelling bees. Um, what do you do if you're stuck in your phone? What do we write about or what topics do we explore? What a normal day might look like. Now that might change obviously because of September, but what I know so far is what we're going to do isn't going to change. It's just how we'll do it, like how we move around school. But our normal day it should be pretty similar. So you could talk about, you know, when we're not watch news around, what Eric time is, uh, when we read the class book, what that's like. And then, you know, what's Mr. Cooper like? You know, be honest, don't be don't be silly about it, but be honest about it. Let them know what I'm like, because I know some people think that I shout all the time, but as soon as you come into my class, you know that's not the case. So, so you know, let them know. What is it about Mr Cooper that you need to know? You know, is it is it more of a, as long as you tell the truth, then he'll be fine? Is it a case of letting him, letting people know that if you're stuck, he will, he will never get cross with you for being stuck? Well, things like that. What's Mrs Croft like? You can tell them all about the, the well-being table that she's made in the corner and, and how you can go to her to, to have a chat. Or you can go to Mr Cooper's have a chat. I don't know, it's up to you. OK, I'm not going to tell you too much because I don't want... You know, I want you to write genuinely what, you, what you'd want to. Um, some of you might be anxious to go into Year 6. I spoke to some of you yesterday on the phone and you're not actually feeling too bad, which is quite good. Uh, I think it's mainly because, you know, you're only moving across the corridor. But the year fours would definitely feel a little bit anxious. Um, so think about what you'd like to know and include that in your letter. So what would you have liked to have known when you were starting year five? I've done a little bit of an example. So hello year four child. Hello year four child. Obviously I can't hand out names. I don't know who I'd give it to yet. If you're reading this, then you're sat in Mr Cooper's classroom. So you've got to pretend they're going to pick this up in September. What I'll do, I'll print them off. It's not quite as scary as you may think. 
Here's some things you might like to know about Year 5, Mr Cooper and Mrs Croft. So I'm going to get, um, the idea is I'm going to give this to them on the first day at some point. Mr Cooper only ever wants you to do your best. If you're resilient, try and be independent and work hard, then you will love Year 5. He's always happy to help as long as you give, have given it a go. And he always treats the class as a team. I think he pretends to be a football coach. He does shout sometimes, but it's only if you haven't followed the rules or expectations of Year 5. Also, if you do get into trouble, we all have our off days, just tell the truth. Mr Cooper really appreciates it if you tell the truth. He also likes cricket, Star Wars and bad, but he thinks they're good jokes. He's from Derby, so sports Derby, blah, blah, blah. So you get the idea. Okay, now this letter has the potential to be quite long. If you think about talking about what I'm like, what Mrs Croft is like, and then things you get up to in year five, if you take each one of those bullet points, or more, if you think of other things, as a paragraph each, even if a paragraph, remember a paragraph is just a section, then it could potentially be quite long. But notice what features I've got in here. I've got parentheses, I've got commas for my coordinating conjunctions, I've got different sentence openers. This is a this is to show them here is year five writing. Okay? So you need to get you need to get the balance right. It's it's not very formal, but at the same time you don't know the person you're writing to. So it's a bit of a bizarre one. So read that, pick up the vibe, you know, that the parenthesis is the slightly informal part of the letter, I suppose. So have a read of it, give it a go, and take your time. Because, you know, this is the next few days of English. Maybe today you just want to jot down some ideas. Do a little mind map of what you'd write about me, what you'd write about Mrs Croft, and what you'd want to tell them about Year 5, and just do a mind map. And then tomorrow, start writing it. Okay? Don't try and bash this out in 20 minutes. That's not the point of it. Okay? So enjoy. Reflect on Year 5 once again. Um, and over the next few days, start getting a bit of a, a letter together, okay? Balancing being kind and light-hearted with some genuine things to talk about, okay? It's quite a quite challenging task there, but it is something we would have done this week in Year 5, okay? Right, good luck with that, uh, and remember that's going to be read for the new Year 5, so you are definitely going to have your letters read in September.